Yeah. RX, yeah? Yeah, RX. Hyper RX. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I did notice that. I forgot to say it. I forgot to say it. I did see it there, and I was like, RX. Uh, it's like Radeon RX. Ah, I see, I see. 내가 왜 여기다 RX라고 썼는지 RX라고 써놨지? 여기 다시 다시 할게요. <웃음> 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. 암자남입니다. 월요일에 오랜만에 제가 혼자서 인사를 좀 드리는데요. AMD에서 테크니컬 마케팅 디렉터로 근무하시는 아담 코장님이 방문해 주셨어요. 그래서 라데온 제품이나 그 다음에 여러분들이 이제 관심이 제일 많으신 이제 그래픽 카드 이제 채널 파트를 담당하시는 분이라서 그동안 이제 컨텐츠에서 언급했던 부분들 한번 여쭤보고 또 멀리서 오셨는데 또그 부분에 대한 이야기만 할수 있는 건 아니니까 뭐 CPU라든가 요즘 이제 화제가 되는 AI 부분들 그런 부분들도 답변하실 수 있는 수준에서는 답변을 좀 최대한 제가 끌어내 보도록 하는 걸로 이제 하겠습니다. 소개해 드리겠습니다. 아, AMD의 아담 코작 씨입니다. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ryan. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Please introduce yourself to my audience. Sure. Um, my name is Adam Kozak. I've been part of AMD for over 20 years. Oh. Started off um, on the Radeon side, did some of the CPU, did some chipset back in the days where we used to have integrated chipsets. Mm -hmm. Some of your viewers may, may remember those. Mm -hmm. And back to the graphic side, um, particularly on the, the gaming side. But yeah, so it's my, what, third time here in Korea. Ah, really? Um, and I think the first time I was here was when we first launched Kaveri. So that's... Ah, Kaveri. It's been a few and far in between, and I, I, I hope to come back soon again. I, I love it here. I know you already have been here, but you haven't been Yes, um, up wide awake at 4 a.m. today. <laughs> and it'll, it'll take a while to get used to it, but... Um, I, I do like having the waking up in the morning and having all this free time to, to do work. It's, mm. it's something back home I'm, I don't get to a chance till, till 8 or 9. Ah, 그렇구나. 그럼 저기 어디서 오신 거예요? 그 뭐, 샌프란시스코? I'm from uh, Toronto, uh, Canada. So Toronto, ah, Ontario. Canada. Canada, yes. Ah. 옛날에 ATI 본사가 거기 있어서 그러신 거구나. Correct, that's where I started. I started off at ATI. 그 특별히 이번 한국 행에서 뭐 얻고자 하는 어떤 성과가 있으신지 일단은 좀 듣고 싶어요. Probably the the biggest goal for me is to try to educate and share all the benefits of Radeon and Ryzen. Um, we see Korea as a very important market. My goal here is really just to to promote all the the great things about Radeon and let people know um, why it's a great choice for their 음, GPU. 음. 얼마큼 한국 시장에서 AMD가 중요한지에 대해서 먼저 간단하게 좀 얘기해 주시고 넘어가면 될것 같아요. From um, my uh, segment, which is the gaming segment, mm -hmm. um, it's well known that Korea is one of the top um, markets for gamers. Yes. Probably one of the, the main reasons why we're targeting um, or trying to target Radeon for the customers because mm -hmm. we, we see such an opportunity there for gamers. Mm -hmm. For sure. 어 먼저 첫 번째로 이거는 그 저희 구독자께서도 굉장히 궁금해 하신 건데 이제 AMD 라이젠 CPU 프로세서가 이제 굉장히 효율적인 면이나 성능적인 면에서 타사 제품과 비교했을 때 좋은 평가를 받고 있거든요. 그렇게 평가받는 가장 큰 이유가 뭐 어떤 거라고 생각하시는지 좀 듣고 싶어요. Um, the Ryzen CPUs with their Zen 4 cores or even their Zen 3 cores um, are primarily optimized for high frequency performance at what you've mentioned, at um, great efficiency, so lower mm. power. You don't want to build something that's going to be, A, too expensive for what you need it for, and for gaming, AMD makes some of the best processors to date, mm. um, especially with their X3D series. And you want something that is going to run not only the workloads for today, but for tomorrow as well. And then I'd say actually add a third point. You want something that is going to work on a platform that's going to last a few years to come. You don't want to always think about all the components you need to replace every time you buy a new mm -hmm. CPU. Mm -hmm. And that's probably the best benefit of mm -hmm. choosing a, a Ryzen processor. AM4 CPU가 새로 출시가 됐어요. 저도 전에 말씀을 잠깐 드렸지만 5700X3D, 그 다음에 5500GT, 5600GT 같은 계속 이렇게 꾸준하게 신제품이 출시되는 이유가 일단은 좀 궁금하고 그 다음에 AM4가 특별히 AMD의 현재 어떤 의미가 있는지 좀 듣고 싶어요. 
So we're always looking to create and um, make available great products at great prices. And we see that the AM4 market is still quite large. Mm -hmm. And a lot of users, as I mentioned before, about their motherboards lasting for generations, um, want to upgrade their, their systems. And there is lots of opportunity for some really great products. And that's why we continue to still address AM4. Now, obviously, it, if you want to upgrade to the latest and greatest technology, there's those sort of people like myself. Mm -hmm. But not everybody needs the latest and greatest. Mm. Some people just want to be able to build a really powerful system at a great price point. You know what? Um, if they choose AMD, that's fantastic. That's great for us. Um, having someone reconsider a brand new platform also means they could reconsider a competitor brand new platform because there's all these extra costs in it. Mm -hmm. If we can keep that user um, or give them a better solution at a better price, we'll do that. I don't know. Sorry. Not my expertise. 이제 특별히 이제 5600 X 3D를 한국에서 출시하길 원하시는 소비자가 많아요. No, obviously we can't comment on products that we haven't released, but um, I definitely understand that the X3D is is a great brand. Um, I myself have an X3D part, and for gaming, it's it's second to none. 작년에 ARM CPU 출시를 할 수도 있다라는 뉴스가 나왔는데. No, once again, if we haven't announced anything publicly, we, we can't discuss anything. 한국 시장에서 라데온 GPU에 대한 점유율이 월드와이드 평균에 비해서 좀 낮은 축에 속하는데 어떤 이유 때문이라고 생각하시는지 일단 좀 듣고 싶어요. Um, definitely very different than the rest of the world. Um, it's one of those scenarios where when you have several years of just talking about another product, a graphics card, that people don't really learn about or know about the benefits of Radeon. So we're, we're hoping that we can change that by educating and, and telling people all the great things about the Radeon GPU. Mm -hmm. 완제품 메이커들이 라데온 탑재를 좀 꺼려하는 경향이 있거든요. I mean, it would be purely speculation from my point of view, but sometimes it's easier just to go with one product, and we saw that problem a lot in the early days on the CPU side. People would just choose the competitor because they knew it, and getting partners and distributors to, to think more about the different options they have out there, so they can create um, better solutions for their customers. Radeon을 사용하는 걸좀 꺼리는 매뉴팩처러들한테 좀 혹시 좀 해주고 싶은 얘기가 있으시다면? Radeon provides fantastic performance, some bleeding edge features that the competition doesn't have, and actually gives you more memory, which is becoming more and more important for gamers and for people who are using AI in the future. 한국의 라데온 수입사가 라데온 판매에 크게 좀 관심이 덜하다고 생각하는 측면이 제가 좀 있거든요. No, uh, I think there's probably uh, several things that we can do and definitely getting the distributors uh, more confident of what Radeon can provide to their customers is, is one of those areas for sure. 소비자가 선택할 수 있는 제품의 종류가 적은 것도 하나의 이유가 될수 있는데 다양한 제품이 소비자에게 제시된다면 아무래도 더 많은 소비자가 좀 어트랙티브하게 제품을 선택할 수 있지 않을까라는 생각을 하는데 more confidence for the distributors to distribute the full lineup would definitely help give customers more options. Um, generally, what we see is that at the same price, people who choose Radeon will get more performance, more memory, and uh, leading technologies like DisplayPort um, 2.1 that you can't get on the other products. So there's definitely advantages. Um, having those at uh, all the different price points would definitely help in, in Korea. 현재 한국의 GPU 시장에서 가장 이슈가 되는 것 중에 하나가 이제 AMD FSR3와 AFMF예요. 아직 잘 모르시는 분도 많으니까 FSR3와 AFMF가 어떤 기능인지 간단하게 설명을 좀 해주시고 넘어가면 좋을 것 같아요. So FSR3 includes both our upscaling technology FSR and our frame interpolation technology AFMF. So FSR um, uses temporal scaling, which looks at motion vectors, how the scene is moving, and upscales an image from that. Mm -hmm. uh, AFMF is our frame interpolation, which adds frames in between the existing frame and a future frame. 
And probably the coolest thing is it doesn't just work on our latest hardware. It works on um, a wide range of hardware from us to the competitor. So you don't have to own a Radeon card to, to try out FSR. Yes, that is a big point. Yeah. Right. RX 500 시리즈까지만 지원했던 플루이드 모션 비디오, 또 플루이드 모션 비디오 기능에 대해서 조금 더 얘기해 주시면 좋을 것 같아요. Believe we announced support for VLC actually to support this frame interpolation um, back for video. So that's coming in the next few months. So look out for that. 원래 게이밍용 그래픽 카드라고 하면은 경쟁사의 제품을 떠올리는 분들이 많았거든요. 특히 한국 시장에서는. 근데 최근에 이제 경쟁사가 이제 게이밍 시장보다는 좀딴데 정신이 팔려서 오히려 저는 AMD가 게이밍 시장에 더 조금 더 진심이 아니냐라는 생각을 개인적으로 가지고 있는데 그 이유가 저는 AFMF와 FSR3 같은 이런 기능을 경쟁사보다 더 많이 선보이고 있는 이유라고 생각을 하거든요. Well, I, I definitely agree with you that um, AMD is very focused on gaming, and we're always looking for new things to add to make it better for gamers. Um, the Radeon product. And that's why the Ryzen and, and Radeon together are, are fantastic solutions because we're dedicated to, to make sure that gaming is that priority um, for our business. 앞으로 관련된 기능이나 혹시 더 추가될 수 있는 게 있는지. The simple thing I can comment on is that more and more developers are excited to upgrade their, their technologies and include FSR3. Other than that, any future developments, um, obviously we're always looking to improve our technologies. But nothing to announce at this date. HyperRx라는 기능이 있는데 어떤 기능인지 먼저 소개를 잠깐 해주시고 넘어가면 될것 같아요. Sure, um, HyperRx is our one-click button that enables a whole bunch of different technologies. Um, using the data, uh, we see that most people rarely go into the control panel. Um, on top of that, there's so many features inside that a lot of people don't know what they can enable and disable. And HyperRx is meant to be that one-click button that should speed up your games automatically. And it enables a whole bunch of different features. Um, one of them I mentioned earlier was RSR. So that's Radeon Super Resolution. It's an in-driver uh, FSR solution. Um, it does AFMF now, which is our fluid motion frame. So it can go into each game and interpolate frames automatically. Huge feature and only AMD has that feature today in the driver. Works for thousands of games. Um, uh, Anti-lag. Anti-lag slows, in a nutshell, it slows down your CPU so that it's not overproducing frames and links it closer to what the GPU can produce. The end result is lower latency, so when you click that mouse, things happen a little faster. When you move that mouse, um, you got a little more accuracy. Um, we also have other features like uh, AMD Boost, and um, in the future, hopefully more. 좋은 이야기를 했으니까 이제 안 좋은 얘기를 하나 여쭤보고 넘어갈 거야 될것 같은데 가장 라데온 하면은 빈번하게 나오는 문제가 이 드라이버 신뢰성 문제인데 이제 특히 이제 많은 분들이 이야기하시는 것 중에 하나가 타사 그래픽 카드를 사용하다가 이제 AMD로 바꿨을 때 여기서 문제가 발생하는 경우가 많거든요. Working with developers like you said and making sure that they have access to our hardware. Usually the biggest problems you see is when a developer doesn't have access. Um, and we saw that as part of a problem as from our competitor cards. Um, if they don't have the hardware, their little issues will, will come up. Mm -hmm. If the driver isn't properly uh, uninstalled, so um, making sure you have a clean system when switching between graphic cards mm -hmm. makes a huge, huge difference. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, as you say, um, we, we do look at the technical issues that our users provide. Um, we do have a bug report tool, and um, our QA team does look at them, and if we're able to reproduce them, uh, we, we do develop fixes for them um, quite fast these days. Uh, 확인이 되는지 일단 궁금하고 그다음에 이런 기능들을 받았을 때 프로세스가 어떻게 처리되는지에 대해서 좀 궁금해요. Yeah, so we, we can translate uh, Korean. It, it, again, oh, it's one really? of the most important markets. So, <웃음> yes. Um, and the, the process usually is very simple. Um, we try to reproduce it and if we can reproduce it, then we go about solving the problem. If we can't reproduce it, we will reach out and um, uh, try to get more information. 이거 굉장히 중요해요. 왜냐면은 <웃음> 왜냐면은 한국 사람들은 그런 게 있어요. 이제 거기다가 
마시라는 이렇게 딱 튀어나오면 야 이거 한국어로 써도 괜찮은 거야? 영어로 써야 되는 거 아니야? 라고 이렇게 딱 막히는 게좀 있는데 그거를 이제 써도 된다라고 이렇게 말씀을 해주시면 사용자들이 굉장히 거기다가 이것저것 막 써놓을 거거든요. You can write your comments in Korean and please, if you do have issues that are regularly happening, please report them using the, the bug tool. 이 게임사와의 협력에 대한 이야기를 안할 수밖에 없는데 FSR3나 AFNF 같은 기능을 게임사와 어떻게 더 많이 협력해서 이야기할 수 있을 것인가? Oh, I definitely agree with you. Um, having, <웃음> having great um, developer relationships is, is key to making sure that the game works fast when you get it released and that it works stably. Um, that's been a huge focus for uh, Radeon and for AMD in general over the last, I'd say, four or five years since I've moved back to the, the gaming side. Um, our last partnerships were Starfield and Avatar. And a lot of that was a technical relationship as well, working with partners to implement the latest technologies, figure out ways to make things work better and faster, and improve the visual quality um, as fast as we could, or as fast as it could run on our hardware. Uh, and definitely as we look to the future, we, there's a, more partnerships on the horizon that we can't talk about now, but we are actively engaged with our developers. They're the reason why people buy our components, mm. um, they buy it to play their favorite games, and making sure we're optimized is, is a key, key, key part. So, you talked about Avatar, and AMD is a lot of games collaborate with the game titles, and it's a lot of games that are used to be used to be used to be used. The game that 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 the 큰 이슈가 될수 있다고 생각을 하는데 대형 타이틀이 아니더라도 협력할 수 있는 어떤 그런 찬스가 없는지 For sure. I mean, we're always looking at what's popular in the different regions. Actually, more so than ever as we look at one of the problems of trying to increase market share in Korea. We obviously identify that we need to to work with local um, developers. And we we do have um, a team in place that's been working with them on future titles as well. So it is definitely a focus for us going forward um, to focus on uh, Korea as one of the, the main regions, for sure. 국산 게임이 라데온하고 좀 맞지 않는 경향들이 좀 나오고 있거든요. Um, don't forget, we're in all the consoles. <웃음> so all the developers are programming on Radeon hardware. Mm. So um, the compatibility is there. Mm. I, I would definitely encourage people to relook at um, Radeon today. It, it's, it's drastically different than it was five, ten years ago. 여전히 이제 그렇게 생각하시는 분이 있거든요. Well, I mean, that's part of our reason why I'm here is to to show people and to to do a bunch of these interviews. And it's it's not just me. There's a lot of different teams that are actively doing a lot more now mm -hmm. in this region. Mm -hmm. And um, again, it's just putting more focus on Korea than mm -hmm. we have before. Mm -hmm. 라데온 제품이 경쟁사 제품보다 메모리가 많은 것이 장점이라고 하셨는데 말씀을 한번 좀쭉 해주시면 좋을 것 같아요. Sure. So probably the, the easiest way to get into a large memory GPU is a 16 gig GPU like the 7600 XT. Um, that price is significantly lower than the cheapest 16 gig GPU from the competition. 아. Uh, like NVIDIA, which is, at least in North America, it starts around $500 for theirs mm. versus about $329 for mm. ours. Uh. You can get a 7600 XT, you can get a 7800 XT with 16 gigs, the new 7900 GRE with 16 gigs, and then it goes up from there to 20 and 24, all under $1,000. Um, the 24 gig from NVIDIA costs $2,000 yes, or more. Yeah, yeah. If you want 32 gig, you need to go to a professional card, the Radeon Pro. <laughs> we have 32 gig and 48 gig on the Radeon Pros. <laughs> well, it was just introduced, so hopefully it will become. The memory size of the AI is what kind of use of the AI can be used in the future? So, most uh, AI applications today, um, the ones that are very popular, use models. Now these models, um, because they contain so much information, uh, use up a lot of memory. Mm. And the better the model, even for large language models, um, are like, think of chat GPT, but local, um, the, the more 
uh, exact ones or you use a lot of memory. And that's why you would need a lot of memory. Else your, your system slows down considerably when trying to solve a problem. Kind of the same thing you see in gaming. If you run a game and you turn up all the settings and you don't have enough memory, it has to go to system memory and it just slows down considerably. Um, much it, the drop off is is very dramatic. 예, 최근에 이제 그 MPU가 탑재된 8000G 이야기를 안할 수밖에 없는데 처음으로 MPU가 내장된 제품이거든요. 뭐 모바일까지 통합하면은 경쟁사 제품이 있기는 하지만 8000G에 내장된 MPU를 가지고 소비자가 어떻게 활용할 수 있는지 좀 궁금해요. 특히 이제 데스크탑에서는 모바일과 다르게 내장된 MPU를 아직은 활용하는 것들이 조금 이제 활성화가 많이 안 됐다고 생각하거든요, 개인적으로는. Yep, I mean it's it's like most new technologies. Sometimes you have to have the technology available before people start taking uh, use of it. But the good thing about the 8000G, it also has the RDNA 3 graphics cores. So today you can use the regular AI applications, and it will use the graphics cores, and it can perform quite fast. Um, the future is about MPU because it's able to do AI at lower power. Mm -hmm. um, and I predict that more and more applications will eventually adopt the use of the MPU, particularly for um, cases that don't need to use the full power of that GPU. MPU가 가동할 수 있게 하면 굉장히 좀 혁신이 되지 않을까라는 생각을 잠깐 했거든요. 실제로 이런 게 가능한가요? Well, today obviously um, AFMF and FSR3 does work on 8000G, but it's using the graphic cores. Um, just can't comment on some of, the, some of them right now. <웃음> 이제 AI와 관련된 이야기를 조금 이제 오신 김에 잠깐 하고 넘어가려고 하는데. GPU 얘기를 계속 하면서 AI 이야기가 계속 나오고 있거든요. 근데 이게 일반 소비자에게는 AI가 아직은 좀 많이 어렵단 말이에요. 특히 이제 라디온 그래픽 카드를 가지고 AI와 관련해서 내가 무엇을 할수 있을까 뭐 이런 생각을 하시는 분도 있으니까 추천할 수 있는 AI 관련된 제품들. Sure, the, the most popular things today on consumer GPUs is um, large language models. So think of your chat GPT and your stable diffusion um, for images. Now, videos is becoming more uh, relevant, but those are probably the two best use cases. Mm. And images can be very complex. It can be simply creating an image. It can be upscaling an image. And we've seen recently how using vi uh, making videos um, using AI are, are, is becoming very interesting. Mm. There are some one-click solutions that have come out recently and of course, Microsoft is, is looking for ways to integrate it into Windows to take advantage of the hardware. Aww. If your users want to try a, a chat-based LLM, um, I recommend LM Studio. LM Studio. Yep. Um, One-click install, and it's very fast. You can throw in documents. It will analyze them and summarize them for you. It will answer questions for you quite fast on Radeon cards, um, and is a great tool. And if you'd like to create images or videos, um, a program called Amuse, A-M-U-S-E, is a one-click install and runs very fast on Radeon. LM Studio하고 Amuse 얘기를 하셨거든요. 8000G에 내장된 MPU에서도 사용할 수 있는 건가요? No, today those use the RDNA3 uh, GPU RDNA3. to perform the, uh, the operations. In particular, those programs are very good at processing FP16 mm, uh, FP math, 16. whereas the, the NPU is very good for integer operations, integer 4 or 8. Mm. Um, and you'll see in the future, these large models slowly come down as they optimize them for lower um, precision. And that's where I would see that the NPU would be valuable in models that don't need that full FP16. But for images and for very detailed text, at least today, you need FP16. Um, but as you know, what is standard today may be completely different in a couple of years. Mm. This, this area is moving very, very fast. Yes, yes, yes. 이제 많은 분들이 이제 경쟁사의 CUDA에 대해서는 어느 정도 들으신 게 있지만, 특히 이제 뭐또 다른 경쟁사의 원 API 같은 것도 있고요. 
근데 이제 AMD에서는 이제 ROCM이라는 모델이 있거든요. 이 ROCM이라는 모델이 어떤 것인지 아직 잘 모르시는 분이 많으니까 이제 ROCM에 대해서 잠깐 얘기해 주시면 좋을 것 같고. So right now, um, to clarify, Rockam works primarily in Linux, and that's where a lot of the developments um, of these models of PyTorch, etc., a lot of the the, the frameworks are, are built um, using Linux. So we did add support for the consumer cards um, last year, particularly on the 7900 series, which we see as being the primary cards that are being used um, for AI right now. And I personally see um, people who are developing for Windows will start moving towards more of a standard framework so that their code will run fast on any hardware than a proprietary. Right now it's proprietary because um, there was a solution early on that people were used to. But as the industry catches up and continues to evolve, I think it'll all move to a standard platform, and Microsoft's been pretty good at that. Mm. You can use the HIP SDK in Windows. Now, that's what some of these applications use when they're using Windows. So it's not the full Rockham library. Mm. It's a, a, an accelerated portion of it. LM Studio that I talked about earlier, that uses actually the HIP SDK. It, it says it's Rockham, but it's really a, a part of Rockham that works in Windows. It's very similar to CUDA. There's no difference in competitive edge. It's native support. CUDA is a library that works only on NVIDIA. Rockham is a library that works on AMD. 마지막으로 이제 지금 그 저희 그 구독자께 한마디 하시고 이제 종료하시면 될것 같아요. The games of today run fantastic on Radeon. It gives you the ability now to use newer technologies that the competition might have in their next generation. But if you're buying a new card today, you don't want to have to upgrade your card again just to get these technologies. It has more VRAM, which is really important for today's games that are using a lot more memory than before. Now 8 gigs is pushing the boundaries, particularly if you want to play at the more popular 1440p or higher resolutions. Um, and that's really the, one of the great benefits of, of buying a Radeon card. And of course, the performance is pretty fantastic when you start including these technologies like AFMF, driver-based, that now speed up all your games considerably, up to 2x. So um, I would definitely say this year there's been a lot of great improvements on Radeon that if you haven't tried out a, a 7000 series card, you probably want to. Well, just thanks for having us here in uh, Korea. It's a fantastic place to be. For gaming, it's one of the, the biggest areas and one that uh, we're going to spend a lot more attention on. In Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. 지금까지 AMD HQ에서 오신 아담 코작 씨와 이제 이야기를 해보는 시간을 가졌고요. 어, 많은 이야기를 하셨는데 다 담을 수 없는 이야기가 좀 있어요. 그 공식적으로 말씀하실 수 있는 게 있고 없는 게 있다 보니까 이제 그런 것들이 여러분들께 100% 청적은 안될 거라고 생각합니다만 저한테 따로 얘기하신 게 있으니까 그런 것들은 제가 따로 이제 말씀을 드릴 수 있는 시간을 가지고 좀 어떤 판단하실 때 조금 도움이 되었으면 하는 생각이 있습니다. 우리 멀리까지 와주신 우리 아담 씨에게 감사드리고 다음에 또 인사드리도록 하겠습니다. 수고하셨습니다. 감사합니다.